Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Nova Fugal Studios, and I've got a request for a in-betweening and tweening, uh, you know, tutorial. So I thought I'd kind of jam them in one. So I, what I did here is that I let me destroy one of these so I can just sort of focus. Is that we have our character from uh, Castle Dark. Um, so I drew these three frames, and one. This is one of the pers the people who asked me asked me for a uh, a video on sort of like simple in-betweening. And how to make that easier so this is like um, we have three we are three keyframes so we have him sort of hurt and then we have him reach for his sword and he takes it out and um, for the sake of time guys I'm actually gonna go over this one first the tweening so this is tweening and uh, let me actually make a new layer so this is tweening tweening and this is in betweening. In betweening. I right. <laughs> press out it down. Anyway, you guys get what I mean. So basically, um, we're gonna go over the tweening first, just so it's because it's faster in OpenTunes. So basically, all you gotta do in OpenTunes is click the edit tool, and now we can move the entire frame. So if you move our ball we have here, like this, it'll automatically create a keyframe for us. So let's say we, that that's on our first frame. So if we move to our frame 15, then we can move the ball somewhere else. And if we play it back, there we go. And you actually can change movement settings in um, the preferences, um, how you want it to to actually move. Where is it? Preference. Here we go. Um, visualization. Is it animation? Here we go. Um, you can go speed in, spit out, ease in, ease out, ease in, ease out, percent. I haven't really tried these, so I'm just going to keep it at this simple thing today so that's all you got to do um, to make it tweening and even you can make it like so it sort of go from far to near by using this um hair function just right click on this and click delete um, if you want this to go back into the background then we can hit control and zoom it back so we can make it like get bigger and smaller but it has a sort of actually we need to set the first frame it's like this and then this frame is like that there we go so now it sort of zooms into the background which is really cool because on our open to straighty feature like this it actually goes back it actually zooms into the background if you guys can see that see it goes it actually goes into a 3d space which is actually kind of cool if you guys want to make some really cool animation effects so with tweening done we got in betweening now in between is a little more complicated so it's a it requires a little more drawing skill so um i'm not saying like it it's like impossible of course it's it's a very feasible. So this is a very basic keyframes. It is kind of a quickly played. He takes out a sword, very straightforward. But um, if you want to break it down a little bit more, you can use a thing called the onion skin. So if you right click and do activate onion skin, you can see the frames in between what um, you're drawing. And if you click these circles that appear when you hover over this side here, then you can say you can see future frames along with past frames. So I'm going to do past frames for now. So what we want to do is go on around the middle and this can vary based on what you're doing um, once you guys get into that advanced level. And um, what some people will do is that they will draw um, the exact middle and just for the sake of time and um, to keep this simple so nobody gets confused, I'm going to do the same thing. So we're going to just sort of draw in the center between these two very light drawings. I hope you guys can see this right. See this easily. So. When I drew this, I did not have my smoothness on, but we're keeping it on for the sake of clean looking drawing. So we're going to actually take the select tool and size the head just so it's the same as the previous and around the same as the upcoming so we can sort of reason with it. So that's about the middle right there. And um, and um, more professional a animators will tell you not to do this, like, you know, sort of go right in the middle. But um, I'm just sort of teaching you a really quick way if you're not if you're not looking for a a very advanced way more professional animators usually say that you can don't use the onion skin sort of flip back from frame to frame and it will help you when you're um, more advanced but as a uh, but if you're a beginner you really you could try either way um, there's an interesting channel that I sort of got that um, point of view from um, AMB Art Academy I'll probably link his channel in the description has very good animation videos so now we can sort of draw the face in between so as you can see sort of switching views in this face he got this and then he's got this so we're gonna draw an, a, a very nice compromise where he's gonna be like sort of like this and he will his snout will be right here it seems in view 
and he will be his eyes will be just about here like that um, and then he will well here we'll have to draw his ears too so we'll draw his ears sort of like um, like this hopefully that's big enough and as you can see the drawing doesn't look really cohesive with um well it sort of does maybe it's because it's just a little bit cleaner is that you want to follow really the motion like the motion arc which I can with um which is one of those um, principles of animation that I, I did link it in one video I'll probably link it again if you guys are really really interested in that so as you can see his arm goes back in this one so we're gonna signify that he does do a motion of his arm his arm his arm going up his arm lifting up and because he wants to get a sword so like that and then we can let me actually scale this face because this is not looking right this is part of the reason that um, those more professional animators are tell you not to do this because you can sort of scoot your drawing and make it look a little less you know um, congruent with the others if you do this sort of method but um if you're careful then you should be you should be fine so his arm is still right here on this frame so we're going to keep it like that so but he sort of does bend down so we'll just make a his leg in between those so yeah guys not very difficult um it's pretty it's pretty straightforward i did change up the way i did the legs i drew this a little while ago in pre preparation for this tutorial and um again thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have been giving me i um I've decided that I want to do this, um, do tutorials every single Monday and take a more professional pr approach at this channel. So, as you can see, it's looking a little bubbly. So, the other one's a little more sketchy. So, as you can see, we sort of broke down the pose. And that's basically what in betweening is. And if you want to go even further, you can go sort of in the middle of this frame and then do it so it's a little more smooth. But yeah, the, basically, that, guys, that's how in betweening goes. Um, just for the sake of time, I don't want to go too deep. But if you guys have any questions on in betweening or tweening, just leave them down in the comments. I'd be happy to help you. So that's our tutorial, guys, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.